There's actually three types of IFRA standards, similar to what you also find in regulatory systems. We have as the first kind, the prohibition of ingredients, where actually it is considered that they are too harmful to be safely used. So they are completely banned from use in fragrance products. The second one, and maybe the most widely appearing one, is setting restrictions. So we establish limits on the use of the materials, ensuring that they are safe when used as such for the consumer and the environment. Over the years, actually, we have refined our methods continuously adapting to the latest developments in science and technology. So we can now make more accurate assessments and set tough restrictions in cases where eventually in the past we would have set outright bans. The third element of standards is the so-called specification standards. That is where we have knowledge that the toxicological effect can actually result from an impurity. So not the material as such, but from an impurity in the material. And when we have clear indication that this is uh, the case and the cause for the adverse effect, then we set limits or restrictions on those impurities. There's actually a, a nice example, which is the so-called mosses, the orchid tree moss, widely used in fragrance products. And they can, resulting from the production, have trace limit or trace amounts of atronol and chloroatronol to impurities. And our standard actually limits those, restricts those to the lowest level. And by that, we ensure the safe use of the material.